Good day, grade 10 learners! Welcome to our second quarter lesson in science, specifically on physics. In our previous video, we described the electromagnetic spectrum in terms of wavelength, frequency, and energy. In continuation, this video talks about the discovery and the different applications of regions of electromagnetic spectrum. Today's topic is focused on radio wave, microwave, and infrared. Our learning targets are identify how radio wave was discovered and the uses of radio wave in radio broadcasting. Identify how microwave was discovered and its uses in telecommunications and cooking. And lastly, identify how infrared was discovered and its uses in weather forecasting, remote control system, and infrared sensing. Let's now start with radio wave. In 1886, Heinrich Hertz discovered the existence of radio waves and he was the first person to transmit and receive controlled radio waves. So how Hertz discovered the radio wave? Using an electrical apparatus, Rhys spirals that produce sparks through electromagnetic induction. He performed series of experiments in observing the resonance of the sparks. In 1886, he finally detected the waves with his copper wire receiver. Sparks jumped across its spark gap, even though it was as far as 1.5 meters away from the transmitter. The sparks were caused by the arrival of electromagnetic waves from the transmitter generating violent electrical vibration in the receiver. Radio waves are used in local radio broadcasting, such as the AM and FM radio stations. There are various frequencies measures used in radio broadcasting. First is the low frequency. It travels 80 kilometers due to the Earth's curvature. Repeater is used to extend the distance received by the station. The use of the repeater is the reason why even in rural and mountainous area, an analog radio can detect signals from specific radio stations. Medium frequency is used in radio broadcasting in local areas. High frequency is used to cover greater area than a medium frequency could, but it's still used in local radio broadcasting. And very high frequency is used to provide higher quality broadcasting including stereo sound. Next to radio wave is the microwave. Microwave was discovered by these two scientists, Robert Wilson and Arnold Penges. In 1965, the scientists discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation, which fills the entire universe, is believed to be a clue to its beginning, something known as the Big Bang. Moreover, the first microwave oven was invented by Perry Spencer. In 1945, Perry Spencer was experimenting with a new vacuum tube called a magnetron while doing research for the Raytheon Corporation. He was intrigued when the candy bar in his pocket began to melt, so he tried another experiment with popcorn. When it began to pop, Spencer immediately saw the potential in this revolutionary process. In 1947, Raytheon built the first microwave oven, the Radar Range. Let's move forward to the applications of the microwave. In satellite communications, it creates a communication channel between a source, transmitter, and a receiver 
at different locations on Earth. Radar Radar is a system for detection by sending out pulses of high-frequency electromagnetic waves that are reflected off the object back to the source. Terrestrial Communications is a communication system within the geographical area and with extremely large communication channels being made available. Microwave oven is a device that heats and cooks food by exposing it in an electromagnetic radiation in the microwave frequency range. Have you ever wondered how are you able to receive signals from the recipients and watch your favorite TV episodes? All thanks to microwave. Using satellite communications, a microwave signal is being emitted by a source transferring to the antenna which receives the signal of the microwave. From the antenna, the satellite will amplify the received microwave signal and it is now ready for retransmission of the amplified microwave signal to other satellites. Proceeding, we have the radar or radio detection and ranging. The air traffic system relies on the radar that uses microwave. It detects the aircrafts approaching or leaving the airport to avoid collisions and accidents. In a radar, an antenna is used to scan the surrounding. It will send the microwave signal using the transmitter. From the transmitter, objects like ships, planes, metal, etc. are being detected. And lastly, a receiver detects the signal reflected back by the object. Have you thought about how news reporters send news from outside the studio filming it live? The signals are sent through mobile broadcast vehicles that use microwaves. The mobile broadcast vehicles are the recipients of the microwave signals aired live. Then, the stations will receive microwave signals from MVBs. The satellites will send the microwave signals from the stations to the other satellites for retransmissions of microwave signals to the industrial and residential areas. And lastly, we have the radar range. The first microwave oven. The microwaves are produced by electron tube called magnetron. The microwaves are reflected within the metal interior of the oven that are absorbed by the food. Today, it is used in gourmet industry to create different kinds of dishes worldwide. Let's now have the infrared. It was discovered by Frederick William Herschel in 1800. In 1800, Frederick William Herschel performed a famous experiment where he tried to measure the temperature of different colors of the spectrum. This is by placing a thermometer on each color. He found, to his amazement, that the hottest part of the spectrum was in a place where there was no color at all. It was a spot beyond the red end of the spectrum. For the first time, it was possible to talk about invisible light. This hot light became known as infrared. The applications of infrared are infrared images that is used to determine the measure of the temperature of a certain body or place. Remote control, which is a device known as clicker that is used to operate another device from a distance. It is usually wireless using infrared. These images represent the radiation emitted by the clouds or the surface of the earth. The darker the color, the warmer the body or place is. That is the use of infrared images.
a remote control has an LED light that flashes sending signal commands in the frequency range infrared to be received by other devices. Other applications of infrared are night vision device which is an optoelectronic device that allows images to be projected in the dark using thermal imaging or using infrared. Infrared sensing applications are motion detection in security, biometrics, healthcare, ICT devices, and leader technology. Night vision devices use thermal imaging technology to capture the infrared light allowing to see in the dark. These are used by the military and law enforcement agencies. Passive infrared motion detector is also known as PIR sensors that detects a temperature spike and alarms due to the presence of an intruder or foreign object. Infrared sensing are used in burglar alarm system for security purposes. It is also used to monitor body temperature through a thermal scanner. Infrared sensing is also used to determine an individual's identification through biometrics. And it is also used in sending commands in laptops and mobile phones through command sensor. These are the applications of radio wave, microwave, and infrared. If you have more idea to share about this topic, write your comment down in our comment section. Let me end with this quote, Technology is best when it brings people together by Matt Mullenweg. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our next video about visible light and ultraviolet. For more video lessons, Follow the Facebook page or YouTube channel of Exploring Physics with Teacher Val. See you!